Good girl, Roxy. Good work. Little tip when you're practicing the healing, throw in a few left turns here and there. Make sure your dog is watching where you're stepping. You shouldn't really have to get out of your dog's way. Your dog should move out of the way for you. Stop. Good, Roxy. Good girl. Good girl. Doesn't hurt to give him a bit of food or a pat. And if you notice where she's standing behind me, just a touch behind me so she can always see me. So if there's a dog coming ahead of us, which there isn't, I can step across in front of her like that and block her. Good, Rox. Good dog. And she can still see me. I'm in her vision. Whereas if she's out in front, good girl, Roxy. If she's out there looking away from me, she can't see me because she's a predator and she's got eyes in the front of her head. She's not going to be able to see behind herself. So let's go. Come on, girlfriend. So if you teach them a default walk where they're just behind your leg, you can still see them. They can see you. And you can quickly step across like that if you need to. So that's a nice little tip. I don't make every dog walk behind me like this because it's boring, but I teach it as a heel position so that there's no sniffing in this position generally. There's no opportunity for pats from other people or playing with dogs. This is a, I want to walk to the table in the cafe past everyone and I don't want to try to steal an ice cream out of a little kid's hand or go to see a dog that's under a table. Or if I'm walking into the vet surgery, um, I want her in this position so I can protect her from other dogs that approach and other people, especially if your dog is a bit reactive or fearful. You do not want your dog thinking it has to stand up for itself. That's your job. So here we go again. I can cut across in front of her just like that. And she doesn't think anything of it. So I've rewarded her heaps in this position. And um, good girl, Rox. And when I stop, she should stop with me. I'm not holding her there. Good girl, Rox. The lead is loose. She's choosing to stay with me. She's not leaving me. If you have to hold your dog with you, it's not choosing to stay. It's either choosing to stay or choosing to leave. One or the other. Good girl. You're a good girl. Let's go. So that is this. That is one of the little secrets. I teach this position as a, as a safety position. Sometimes I'll let her roam ahead and let her have a sniff and do whatever she wants, but she's never pulling on the lead. She hits the end of the lead. It's a... Uh, firm boundary that she recognizes and doesn't stay at the end of the tight leash she bounces back to me so she can still have heaps of freedom but in emergencies if i need to get in through a tight space past other dogs or whatever it is she knows this position something to think about thanks guys over and out